y'all should go to Arisha, and I'm back with another video. And today we're just gonna hop right into it, okay? We're going to be reviving my hair. My birthday is next week and your girl needs to get right, okay? There's a lot of things going on here, okay? As y'all know, we did we started micro locks, which has been about seven months now. So we're seven months in and this is what she's looking like. The red, I, this is why I say this is the best red because although it's not as vibrant as it used to be, obviously, because it's going to fade, this red still looks good over time. So this is seven months. I have not added any other red other than when the first time I dyed it. Oh, today's actually my seven month lock first three. Whenever y'all get this video, I don't know. Hopefully it's, it's not too far from today. <laughs> and as I'm doing this, uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about where I've been, do you know what I mean? The last time y'all seen me post a video <laughs> was in December, so not too long ago. Um, December, I decided to tackle, what did I decide to tackle? Vlogmas, right? Started out great. I made it to, what day did I make it to on YouTube? On YouTube, maybe like day 18 or 19 or something, I had all the way up until like day 22, like filmed and ready to go. Some of the days were kind of lacking, uh, but I was still gonna make it happen. I don't know what the hell happened, okay? I got caught up, emotional in situation, stress, all the things I feel like probably started to hit me at one time tiredness and I was I was over it so I just stopped which is terrible of me to do because I have so many things to share with y'all and I just stopped I'm sorry for that Ooh, look at that red already yes already <laughs> okay next but yeah staying consistent at that time was a bit of a struggle not gonna lie life has been lifing and I'm not mad at it because it's gonna do what's gonna do. But even for the new year, I took time for myself to not like rush into the new year and pressure myself into having a whole bunch of things done. And then, you know, getting upset at myself when things aren't getting done. So I decided to ease into the new year get my mind right, get my mind focused on what it needs to be focused on. And then we go from there. We navigate from there. And it kinda, it kinda had a hold on me for obviously more than a month because now we're now in February. My birthday is in February and every year I get birthday anxiety. And it's the greatest feeling of all time. <laughs> But not only do I get birthday anxiety, but because this is my 30th birthday, I feel extra pressure to do something. Because if I wasn't turning 30, I would be like, man, whatever, I'm not doing anything like I usually do, right? But this year I was like, I have to do something. I, ha I, like, I have to do something. And then trying to get over like, the intrusive thoughts and negative thoughts of just the regular birthday anxiety that I get every year, you know, people not enjoying themselves. Is it gonna happen? Are people gonna come? Like, is it gonna be a bust? And after talking about it over and over, if you have people there who are there for you and they love you, obviously, you're going to have fun and you literally have nothing to worry about. So I've been trying to keep that message in the back of my head while I make these plans and while the day is getting closer and closer because I don't know if there's any of y'all fellow Pisces out there that can um, relate, but as the birthday gets closer, and close, you're just like, oh, I don't think I want to do anything. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I think I'm good, actually. 
and that those start those thoughts start to set in and you don't want that to happen so i've been trying to keep positive thoughts in my mind trying to stay positive just trying to not fall under the same thoughts the same intrusive thoughts that's just simply are not true right is that part too like we have all of these thoughts and we go by them and we believe them and they're lit literally not true they're literally not true like when I say at the end of each of my videos that your mind is your only limit, literally your mind is your only limit. Your mind and your brain is what controls everything. It's what controls how you navigate through life, right? So if you have that knowledge and you know that, use it to your advantage. Use it to your advantage when you're trying to do anything, literally anything, because it will pay off. It will help you, it will help guide you through your life. There's been so many, so many lessons that I've learned over the last two months or so. So many e emotions that I've felt and Sometimes you have to just let yourself sit in those feelings and sit in those emotions because even like just as I haven't been posting on YouTube, I haven't really been posting on Instagram or TikTok either. Like it'll be sporadic posts and it'll be something that I made from videos that I took in the past. It wasn't even like fresh, fresh stuff that I was creating on a day to day, but Sometimes you have to know when you need to sit in your emotions and sit in those feelings and let them come to the surface so you can dissect them, see why you're thinking the way you're thinking or whatever you're thinking and getting down to the bottom of it. And a lot of the times it's convincing yourself that you are better than what you think you are. <laughs> You're worth more than what you think you are. And you can literally do more than you currently think that you can. This is an impromptu talking sesh right now. I have no script or anything. I'm just talking from the heart, talking from the experiences that I've had and I've have I've have quite a few new subjects that I want to talk to y'all about but obviously I don't want to jam pack them all in one video so I'm excited to get into that get into sharing new ideas and new philosophies um, with my YouTube fam because y'all are tried and true y'all are y'all are here for what I'm here for <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna get through this life together. We're gonna get through what it means to live and to be alive together. As you can see, it's pretty easy to dye these things. Four ten. I'm gonna let it sit for 35 minutes ish in the spirit of what i was talking about earlier <laughs> let's start by saying this during the month of january so i try to read a book every month i started this last year during the month of january my book of choice was unfuck yourself this is the book and this month i'm actually listening to the five second rule by mel robbins I actually have the physical book too, but there was a three month trial with Audible and the book was there. And I was like, let me just listen to it because I need to listen as I'm doing other things, right? And when I tell you, those two books will check you and tell you about your. I wasn't reading the books, okay? The books were reading me, okay? And they. They saw every detail, okay? And those two books really put a fire under my ass and 
really got me to thinking about the kind of life I want to live and how I want to live my life and how I've been living my life, right? So it's important to know how you've been doing things so that you can make change to be better and to be who you want to be, right? To have the life you want to have. And those books made it abundantly clear that your mind is truly your only limit, but also whatever state that you're in or whatever state the state that I was in, I am in currently, <laughs> I'm keeping myself there. I'm the one that's keeping myself there. Nobody else is keeping there, keeping me there except for me. So, and I even said this to my, to my, one of my accountability partners yesterday. I was just like, listen, I've been slacking, but also because my birthday is just a rough time for me. And after my birthday, hit the floor running, we go and let's go, we out, right? And I said, I know that this is, an, this is an excuse, but I'm owning it. This is my excuse that I'm owning, and that's that. Because I just want things to go as planned. And <laughs> So yes, after my birthday, it's going to be lit. So my hope is I get this video out before my birthday. I'm currently recording on February 21st. This is me telling myself, get, get it out before the weekend. Anyways. Those two books will probably go down as two of the books that have changed my life because get it together. I needed to wake up. I needed to put things into perspective. And sometimes, well, a lot of the times, no matter how much you research something or think about something, what really matters is that action that you put forth to achieve whatever you want to achieve, right? Something as small as, as Mel Robbins would say, something as small as waking up when your alarm goes off and not hitting snooze, something as small as that, to something as big as asking for a promotion at work. These decisions, they matter. The more you think, the bigger your problems become. The more you think, the less you do, because the more you're thinking about a problem that you have, the less you're going to act on it because you're trying to find the perfect anecdote and the perfect resolution to your problem when that simply does not exist. And not only doesn't it exist because there's multiple ways to do things, right? There's multiple ways you can come to the same resolution. In addition to it not, not, it not existing, you're not going to act until you get that what you think is perfect resolution in your mind and all that time while you've been thinking about it you're like oh i'm thinking about it but nothing's actually happening no change is being made no resolutions being come to no problem is being solved okay so we need to do more i would say think less and do more do more think less but don't take the think less like too literal like you, you have to think about things let's not get it twisted okay let's not be reckless out here in these streets you still need to get up and do but you also need to think about what you're about to do okay you think but not for too long okay because the longer you think about things you know that's when things start to go downhill so let's not let's not not think okay because y'all be wildin' sometimes all right, y'all, here we go, here we go. And she's back. All right, I'm feeling myself a little bit, obviously. <laughs> I'm also going to be retwisting, retying. I haven't decided yet. To close out the message that I wanted to get at earlier, get up and do. Stop thinking about all the things you're gonna do so much. Just get up and do. Take your big goals and break them down into small manageable tasks and you're good to go. That's it. That's all you really need to do. It's very, the work is very simple, but it's not easy, okay? The work is simple, but it's not easy. For example, waking up when your alarm goes off is simple, but it's not easy. 
put in the work that you need to do to get where you need to be. Because if you're not putting in the work, how will anything change? How will any progress be made? It won't. And you're the only thing that's holding you back. I'm talking to myself. You're the only thing that's holding you back. If you're holding yourself back, you think other people are going to make a way for you? That's not going to happen, okay? And with that being said, your mind is your only limit. Don't let nobody tell you different. Get into the hair one last time. <laughs>